just leveling, like leveling, like, bitch, it don't matter. You gonna do this or you're not gonna do it. Super dark. MC and I are on a showroom tour. We're looking for amazing blinks, amazing vendors. We're trying to make connections with people who, and companies who we can outsource to, to create some of our brand wear and some of the projects that we have coming up that are outside of Rare Label, some of that stuff. like the elastic waistband I mean on the ankle mm -hmm. but um, I don't know I've never worn a lot of sweatpants that don't have the elastic I feel like right now a lot of people are looking for the wider yeah. so, Kayla set up a few different stops so we're downtown LA we're gonna be just kind of running around for the next couple hours and looking for and looking at hoodies sweatpants shirts hats y'all know the drill and we're gonna go from there how long it took you to set all this up damn near two weeks two weeks <laughs> <laughs> two weeks yes, two weeks two weeks but it's a beautiful day at least it's not raining and it's So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Jordan? Yeah. Jordan. How are you? I'm well, how are you? Good. You getting warm out? Yeah, it feels a little good. Hi. Hello. You guys got everything? Phones, keys? Yeah. The high is going to be 69 today. Ooh, not bad. Not bad. We're leaving spot two and we saw some good stuff. I don't know if they're gonna let me record in their space, so hold on. Hi. How are you? Just good. What? Yeah, we're just headed out oh. the front door. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Thank y'all. kind of on this noisy street now but I was not I like the first place better okay well they there was more customization I guess yes um, not underwhelmed by this second spot but it was a little bit more basic I feel like the pieces were a little bit more basic and I don't know that I liked the t-shirts as much as I've liked t-shirts at other places that they just were a little bit lighter weight than I think what we'll look for but they had really cool zip-up hoodies and options and their pricing is better so we got to weigh all that out thank y'all <laughs> every time I try to get an uber <laughs> that shit the driver just never comes she goes to get an Uber and they woman it away. You said woman it? <laughs> yeah. What kind of Uber? Like you got the, it's like a regular, like I get comfort. Yeah, that just, they said <laughs> comfort wasn't available <laughs> when I tried to order it. I did comfort it. It got a little white on the, but anyways, um, we about to go get lunch. We are, I don't know how this woman we about to go get lunch. We just left the third spot. Mm -hmm. um, really the fourth spot, because we went to that hat spot. Oh, I forgot so, that 
the third spot, the fourth spot, whichever spot we're at, was good. We learned and got to see a lot of different like patch types, learned about different applications on the on the garments. So this place I feel like has the most options that we know of so far as far as like the application. Now the blanks that we like right is at another, another place. place. But it's you know, that's how we just trying to figure out who got what so we can figure out how to outsource what we want most from that company. So um that's all we're doing and then after lunch we're gonna go to the fashion district just to like lay eyes on it because we're in that area but i don't know that we'll really i don't know that we'll really do anything or buy anything there yeah but i see pizzeria bianco is the spot um i'm assuming it's italian with pizza our favorite. <laughs> she said, We're going to eat some pizza. <laughs> that was the way this line looks like they're hanging out of here. Lord. And it's a Friday. <sighs> showrooms and we're back at the crib Yay. <laughs> we did it how are you it was very successful very informative yes and we excited to get to work we got more work to do tonight so round two <laughs> been asked a couple times what camera situation i'm using so this is the sony alpha zve 10 however that's red and then the shooting kit is like the wireless handheld situation so i also have that connected it comes with like a little carrying bag i never use that <laughs> controls like all of your camera settings are on here yes indeed that's what i'm using back in the room i'm going to work on one just shaping up our closet a little bit. There are kind of clothes and shoes everywhere. So I want to just organize this a little bit. Um, you know how closets, I don't know about y'all closets, but my closet will get out of whack super quick for no reason. And then I'll be like, why haven't I? <laughs> Why haven't I went back and put stuff where it belongs? Like there's a hanger for everything, there's a place for everything. this in a couple different ways so I have like the hard notes version but then I also have kind of like a workflow like hey based on the time that we have the roles that we need this is you know just working backwards on like everything that has to get done so this is the creative department you know do production is right after and I think it's important to have a creative producer and a creative director as like almost separate roles because the production is going to deal with more logistics obviously that backside like fulfillment like kind of what does the back end look like 
it's not off the facade. The creative department can do all of the looks, direction, art, graphic design, and then you have the production people here, the back end. Um, so that's the breakdown of the departments and how like we're getting into SOPs, but I think high level I had to like to branch out and just be like, what does it take in four weeks? If we have four to five weeks to do this, which I haven't broken down into five weeks, four weeks, yeah, five. Especially when you have a timeline like this. So this timeline that is coming together here, just quickly like, again, this is my scratch notes and trying to just like whiteboard this stuff, right? So we have five weeks of time. This is kind of the different tasks that need to be happening at those times. So um, no, it's, I mean, it's really thorough. I mean, the main question is, is like, how do you feel about it? I mean, in terms of its usefulness, you know, and your clarity coming away from it. Because I think, you know, a lot of times when you deep dive on these things, like you end up being the chief beneficiary because you, you know, in it so you can kind of direct things you can kind of see things coming because you you know architect this, this kind of an effort but I, I think that me being able to push the ideas into execution like I went pick up these these things I went talk to these men like I went submit the artwork I went pack the pack it you know get the packaging I went print this I went you know I did all of that you know and I set up the landing page and I you know and I've done that several times. That's why, like, from, I really think from top to bottom, it's like, oh, okay, well, if there's actually 10 or 12 roles being done, you know, but how many people do we need? Because some of these people are gonna wear, you know, multiple, multiple hats. hats. No, I don't think he did. I was looking through the the email. I mean, I can go look again, but um, I believe he had a website at the time, so I don't know if that just changed or. I think so there's no like as different things are coming like I'm just quick noting however on the click up side so that's why I, like now that you're sharing it to me this way and you're showing me how it's grown now I'm like well if you're operating mostly in here why am I gonna operate mostly in click up you know what I mean like so then that's I back to like okay well wait what was click up for again what was it necessary for because I know click up is more internal so it's just like... Well, you get a whole nother set of things that you can do and manage inside of ClickUp, right? So like here, let's just say, I wanted to like give ourselves like a Gantt or a timeline and I can choose the different things to do that with. You know what I mean? And I don't have to go back the other way in order to do it. And more importantly, like I've learned too, even with these things, it's best to have like two places where things are stored. So, <clears throat> We're using the database on the ClickUp side and the database on the sheet side, and those things are like creating a duplicate of that information in case one goes out. Which like priority or like. Mm -hmm. So this is the to-do status. Yeah, it would be like. Yeah, I mean. Oh, what I want to do is I want to make the row. I don't think I can do it, but you, you, see, you see the point I'm making. Mm -hmm. that, that made you cringe? Um, well, I can click and it'll send email to all of these different people. So now I don't have to like literally copy it and figure out who needs to be on it a second and a third time. I'm just like climbing back so much.
I feel crazy sometimes talking in front of the camera while there's people in the room kind of moving around unless they're like involved in the situation right so I'm like just direct the camera I want to share this with with y'all so I was like let me go outside I'm sitting in the stairwell morning time anyways last night I did my first vocal therapy session and it was incredible vocal therapy is something that's new to me and I've known about it for I've known about it for a while but I have you know I've never done it myself and I think that a lot of my assumption about it was that it was for people who were singers you know what I mean and people who maybe gave like speeches so political candidates and I don't know people who use their voice actors and are performing it's not for that it's for more than just that so I took advantage of an opportunity to have a session and I feel great afterwards we did a lot of exercises I'm still feeling the benefits of what our release looked like last night right what my release looked like and learning about different areas that are holding me back when I'm communicating it's it's fascinating she recommended I come back once um, every other week and I'm gonna do that so I'll keep y'all posted but it was something that was nerve-wracking I was super uncomfortable with it using my voice in ways that I've never used it like I don't even know how to describe it and unlocking and kind of untrapping things that I didn't even know that were there, but we were discovering them. We were to di she was diagnosing them. So vocal therapy is something that I'm excited to continue sharing about, continue doing, continue practicing. Cause your girl, I gotta get, I gotta get better, and I gotta get sharper and more fluent across so many different areas to be able to do what I want to do eventually and to be the leader I want to be and the leader that other people may want to be. So I'm going to stretch myself. This is, I know people say this all the time, but this year is very personal to me because I got to figure this shit out. Like I have to figure myself out as a woman so I can get to the next level and then I'm gonna be figuring some other stuff out and then some other stuff is always gonna be something so I'm not ever thinking I'm gonna get to a place and just be oh yeah I'm good now but the work I need to put in this year I'm I'm very clear about that it's on my now I'm like oh I, I gotta do it every day <laughs> I do not have any energy right now, y'all. Forgive me. Monday, it's Grammys week. We've been prepping for this for a while, um, especially from like the what are we wearing standpoint. We have a lot of it figured out. A lot of it has come in the mail. A lot of it we've gotten over the last couple months. 
there's a couple other things that are coming in the mail like tomorrow on the next day we're off to the races after this so there's like a lot of events there's things um there's things every day so we want to make sure we're suited and booted but also comfortable and i'm gonna just run you through some of the things that i have in my bag to wear okay i have a lot of black textures leather going on and like some basic pieces right because like i said i'm working but there's also things that i want to be maybe a little bit more dressed up for or formal for and then there's things that i want to be comfortable in because i need to be walking so i have options need options look good feel good play good all of that y'all know how it is so let me get this also show you all my some of my jewelry options i'm super basic when it comes to jewelry but and then my um, makeup because i left again my energy is crazy low i left all my makeup in new orleans a couple months ago yes that's how long we've been out here Anyways, i have some of the items here um I, I told y'all i was gonna show y'all some of the jewelry some of the earrings is crazy those are really cute there's some here mm-hmm mm -hmm. let me see There's nothing in there okay anyways oh yeah these are super fun i forgot about these so i've got some of those choices oh what's in here oh that's another one of those okay i thought i had more earrings than that y'all oops all right from sephora basic sephora collection bronzer brush and setting spray Cool. Some blush. I got some different things to color my lip with and have to restock on the Pro Filter Foundation because y'all, I forgot, literally, I forgot all of my makeup or left it. I think I got, yeah, a little bit of um, brightness, under eye brightness stuff. more lip color um i got a i got a lip liner too that i really like and then i bought this new lip liner also to go with like this darker color i think i'm gonna be able to pull that off and then i got a couple skincare items oh that's just some sephora bronzer um some skincare items whoops it's important that i'm taking care of that too and not just worried about the the makeup so i've used this for a while i really like this c rose oil vitamin c rose whatever that means <laughs> i'm gonna leave it alone for whatever i'm about to go finish my work and go to bed and knock out and Get ready for this crazy weekend. <laughs> I'll be back. Y'all, I'm telling you, this is money long.
slide my socks on and then mix the athletic greens drink some water take some vitamins walk over to the gym i do not have much time but i'm still gonna go over there and pretend like i'm gonna get a workout in you know everything is everything's so mental so i can open this door i got a lot of stuff in my hands for this brunch so I'll walk you through that very simple makeup routine for me so I kind of prep my face already I put a serum on my face this actually I did a light moisturizer and this serum do you see that? okay and then I'm gonna prime with Fenty I'm waiting on a few important text messages, confirmations to come through. I'm actually, I'm, I'm getting ready for brunch, but before that I'm gonna stop by, sound check, get credentials for the event that we have tomorrow. Last night we had Spotify, Spotify was super dope. The performance was amazing. The production was amazing. All of the, the other guests, they're really amazing. Quickly, I am blending or mixing these two items. Tinted moisturizer and then the Fenty Pro Filter. Again, I just, I feel like I have a makeup routine that works for me, so I just do it and I stick to it. I'm really being sloppy and lazy because I'm I need to move fast and I don't know yet how much vlogging slows me down so we're gonna see so I just pat this into my face like so I don't want it to be too heavy today But it gives, you know, this like medium coverage. When I blend the foundation and the tinted moisturizer, I always love to use a tinted moisturizer inside of my makeup routine because if you have a good one, I feel like it's a layer of like skin treatment underneath your makeup while you're wearing makeup. So that's why I like it. You know we get light in the winter time. So that's a whole thing. Okay. Yeah, I'm a clean up as I go person. So I put the caps back on everything and put it back where it needs to go when I'm done with it. Oh, I recently started taking these complexion supplements. So far, so good. I'm maybe like a couple weeks in. But I think I'll stick to this maybe two or three months and then make a decision whether or not I feel like these complexion supplements are working. things when you're finished and put them put them back where they're supposed to go 
I don't know if you realize that my playlist just went from Young Dolph to Zoot Sims, jazz musician, artist. I don't know. That's how I do. Contour palette. Yup, yup. I'm really not using the best brush for this, but I left all of my makeup in New Orleans when we came to LA and I've just been having to like, we've been out here for like two months. We've really been out here for three, but two months ago I went back to New Orleans. We went back to New Orleans and I left my makeup kit. So I've been having to just put it back together, which is, which is okay. I've got to try some new stuff and I've re-upped on stuff that I use <clears throat> anyways, so it's been, it ain't hurt me or set me back too much. And getting your makeup done in LA, y'all, getting your makeup done in LA is so expensive. Like, I'm not a cheap, I'm not a cheap person and that stuff is so expensive out here. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do it myself for most of these, for most of these events. I need to decide if I'm going to get it done on Grammy's day. I think I should, <clears throat> but I just need to set that up. I also do some bronzer. This is Sephora collection bronzer. Again, a quick pickup, but been happy with it so far. Do my go to matte, kind of matte situation combination. Yeah, I don't know what to call any of this. Let me wait, let me wait on the lip. I'm getting ahead of myself. is ugly y'all just I don't know just tell me I need to practice because I'm too grown super played out Jimmy Cooks Still hurts from walking around that big ass venue yesterday. 
The makeup is it's giving it's giving me tried. That lip gonna set it off, then go hoops. I'm about to put on gonna set it off. Just put the hoops in. Be back. Real quick. I need to figure out what boots I'm wearing because that determines what bag I take. Right. I'm ready. I'm about to go catch the Uber. He waiting on me. This is this is the fit. It's cute. It's cute. From Zara. Feel more sacred for someone else in the next generation who loves the same thing that we love. Music. 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 Everyone in this company is you know. Sound check is wrapped. I'm walking to the corner to go get in my Uber and all the Ubers in LA be Tesla, y'all. It don't surprise me anymore, but when I first started coming out here, I was like, that's interesting. So then I'm headed to the brunch. Now the brunch is at Four Seasons. Hopefully y'all hear me. Y'all know I got my coffee. I have my, my flat white with me. It's really beautiful out here. You can even see the Hollywood sign. You see it? All right, I'll keep y'all posted. absolute long kissed yesterday was long tomorrow's gonna be longer sunday is gonna be longer <laughs> i just realized what i just said um inside joke but i'm obviously finished for the night we came back after running around getting some last minute things after the brunch lunch sound check yeah like worked from a wi-fi set up for a little bit at a mall um where were we beverly hills i guess century city something in that i don't know we made it back to the house and did a few more things to just get ready for tomorrow get everybody on the same page a lot of people moving around a lot of moving parts there's three performances tomorrow to like move money through and the team and the crew and the guests like there's an event tomorrow where we have a 75 person guest list um anyway so like i don't know what about this anybody might find interesting but it is definitely a production um every time and that's something that obviously as an agency like we have experience with and um yeah, something that I've kind of been doing for a while. So, anyways, um, that'll be what's going on tomorrow. And I'm about to knock out. I think I'm going to be able to sleep for about seven hours. So, that's good. I'm going to try to get a workout in the morning. So, y'all, let's cross these fingers and see. Woke up, going to the gym. 
going to the gym because it's trying to have some sort of normalcy to the day. I slept with my um, this eye mask on. I'm about to take a cold rinse, drink my athletic greens, take my vitamins. I feel like those few things and a glass of water, a protein shake, all in the next like hour or so will be clutch. Help me maintain my immune system, help me get prepared for, just mentally prepared for a tough day and be, you know, nourished right off top of the day. Cause then it's like you look up and it's two o'clock and you're like, I'm not drinking any water. <laughs> so I'm gonna do all those things really quickly. Again, habits, discipline, find things that work. I have found things that have worked for me, so I do those things, and I'm still, con you know, constantly discovering new things I can reasonably add to a routine that makes sense for me. I'm about to head to the studio show us today so obviously yesterday we was at soundcheck so on and so forth did an event <sighs> woke up this morning had already went to the gym or stretch rather went for a little walk got myself together running around what else is today um after the show today we are I have a little bit of a break during the daytime and then there's two more events this evening so I already got makeup on my shirt today if y'all can see um so yeah I'm waiting on the uber the oob I'm tired but shit has to get done so there's really there's no room for me to be like i need a nap or wait, wait, wait. drink water i'll get some coffee and we'll be good I'm ducking off real quick before the rest of the night. We went to the Grammys. Rashad and I stayed for like half of it and then we kind of dipped out in order to get ahead of the rest of the night. So he would say to please come with the dog. I don't really ever understand that. <laughs> Whatever that is, that statement, because why do your fleas, why do your dog have fleas in the first place? Okay, anyways, why are there fleas on your dog? Anyways, the fleas come with the dog, so we have been kind of coordinating the rest of the evening and trying to make sure things are smooth and, you know, a lot of people know what is going on. Um... Look, I'm gonna be cute, 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 whatever, cause I'm on camera and I got my makeup done. Or I did my own makeup, but you know, I'm dressed and all of these things, but I'm tired. Like, I'm so tired. I'm like, I'm a, I don't even know where to start. I'm just tired. So I don't even yet know how I want to explain what this thing is that's going on in my head. Cause I don't know how, like I'm processing it, but my head is just, banging like 
anyways lots of stimulation lots of energy going around lots of this and lots of that and blah, 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 blah. questions and and things and changes and audibles and like just needs and wants and stuff that you know i'm going through personally so yeah we're gonna get ready for the rest of the night and i literally don't know like what the next four five six twelve hours could look like I just know I want to sit down at some point because I feel like I have not sat down in forever to eat a meal. I think the last I feel like the last time I sat down and ate a meal was like Thursday, which was three days ago. So I'm like, I don't even know what I've ate since then. Going into a whole week of a lot of other stuff. Monday, I'm trying to get my head together, I'm trying to get all back on track. I don't know how long back on track is gonna take, but we gonna see. Give it up for Money Long. Nobody cares during the day to day how hard things are. But when you stop and you reflect and you're in a more intimate moment like this, I think y'all will listen. But it has challenged me beyond anything I ever could imagine. My whole role flipped on top of his head, took a whole 180. I had to figure a whole bunch of new shit out. I'm getting cold outside actually freezing so I'm gonna go back inside but I'm gonna tell y'all more later I didn't have a jacket when I went to sit outside whatever that was stupid what I was saying was oh this should have been mad challenging very rewarding but in the moments in the minutia It's a whirlwind, chaotic, stressful, just leveling, like leveling, like, bitch, it don't matter. You gonna do this or you're not gonna do it? And nobody cares, like nobody cares because everybody else has their own agenda and we all have our own things that we have to get done and our own motivations and that's fine and things that all of us have on the line, right? You know, like, so I really personally am proud of what I've been able to do because two months ago, around Christmas, New Year's, two months ago, I was like, I don't know that I want to do this. I don't want to be in this role. I don't want to have to figure out and battle through what all of this is asking from me. Right or wrong, I'm absolutely, I can have my feelings, I can have my emotions, and cool, I can choose how I want to interpret that and what I, I want my narrative to be. So right or wrong, I felt a, a way, and I made a decision. I talked to a few trusted, actually two very trusted people in my circle, not for advice, but just, hey, y'all, let me just talk through this. Let me just, like, get my my thoughts and my fears out. 
and go into this. So y'all like, y'all probably like, what are y'all talking? What are you, what are you talking about? What did you do? What did you do? That was so hard. Y'all, everything. I did everything. I became a new person. I'm consistently forever working on being a better partner, not a new partner, but a better partner, a better role model, a better boss, a better leader. Leadership is huge to me, so I did everything. I took care of people. I helped with things that didn't really ask for my help, but I knew needed it, needed my help. So I inserted myself. I did creative work. I did strategic work. I did operational work. I worked every day. I think I've worked every single day for the last 23, 24 days. I'll look at a calendar to be exact. Let's see. Let's see what, what my calendar say. How many days I worked. But in short, Rashad's success and his team's success on the music side has allowed me an opportunity and has kind of pulled me in to do a different type of contribution to, you know. Okay, here's my calendar. I know you see it. I'm looking, let me look, let me go to the month view. And I could see, I know I've worked every day. I've worked every single day in February. I know that. At least I've worked every day for at least like three or four hours. Some days I've been out of the office, some days I've been in the office. Worked straight up for the last 24 days. It don't matter, but it matters because I want to share that with y'all. Not to feel like you have to do that same thing, but to just know sometimes that, because I know, sometimes you just have to work your ass off for days on end in order to get where you're going. So today, I'm literally about to shut this off for a second, work on a proposal for a partner that needs to get this to a brand that we want to work with. And I understand proposals very well. People ask me to do them all of the time. It's kind of crazy. But I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to start packing. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, my goodness. We got to leave here at 2.30 to go to the airport. So we're going to have four hours to pack this place up. And we got to get stuff to storage. We are going to have... Four hours to pack this stuff up and get the storage. We have to leave here by 2.30 p.m. It's 7.30. And I got mad shit to do. Mad shit. This is the overview deck. I have a lot of the information already. So I kind of have to just plug and play and put the information in there. However, laying things out, designing things, you know, like, it definitely takes a while. So, I want everything to be pretty, colorful, nice, legible. There's gonna be links to external videos and things like that in here. So, it's gonna be cute. Progress has definitely been made in the closet. You can't even tell. Okay, closet clean, one coat. All of this stuff is going back. 
to New Orleans with us. Poor little boot. So we'll figure that out. That's trash. About to hop in the shower. There's my cable. <laughs> Hydrate. Everything is pretty much packed, but I just took it all to storage. So we're gonna try to clean up, reset the place how it was when we came in because we moved all the furniture around. So that's that. You ready to go? <laughs> Look, we're going to New Orleans tonight, Baton Rouge tomorrow, back to New Orleans for Mardi Gras. I don't think I've ever been so excited for Mardi Gras. I'm very excited for Mardi Gras. Yeah. This is my first Mardi Gras since. Yeah. Oh, yeah. since, since. Yeah. Anyways, y'all, we ready. It's a wrap. What Almost. <laughs> what you heard? I don't know what you did with your last 72 hours, but I wish you could see the goddamn summary on this group. Look, we Maybe. got we got we got some videos and stuff. It's not all vlog style, but I'll try to mash it up. Michaela been rolling the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> but on a scale of one to ten, we're all like an eleven on getting out of here. But the place has been cute. It's been cute. Everything gone. Yeah, and look at my, I don't know if this is just OCD, but it's like very organized by hanger time. <laughs> like I did not have to do that. I did not have to do that. Let me get my phone. It's the last thing. Cars are downstairs. And we still have shit in here. They gonna wait. Almost to the airport. We're pretty sure we're gonna miss the flight. And there's like no other options. Tonight or tomorrow. There's no non-stops. I'm so tired that I'm I'm just like numb. I'm numb to it. Can I do? About to see. I think the. He on the phone. Y'all, I don't know how we made it. I do not know how. I'm not gonna question shit. Everything went right. I think so. We got clear, we got pre shaved we got all those things, but even with that, I, I just, I knew. Y'all, I've never been so sure I was gonna miss a flight in my life ever so me Rashad and Kayla like I'm like and there was no other options tonight there were no non-stops like I said like there was no there was really sucky options tomorrow but it was crazy I I'm stuck so I'm about to get him playing get my seat and calm my ass down <laughs> <laughs>